What's going on YouTube? Gsn right here. Welcome to iDevice Central channel. In today's video we're discussing about iOS 17 Beta 3, which was just released by Apple and it's now available. This video is brought to you by Altphone iOS Downgrade Tool, which is available for both Windows and Mac OS. And this one allows you to basically easily and efficiently downgrade back to iOS 16.5 if of course you have issues with iOS 17 Beta, because iOS 17 Beta is indeed a developer beta which can be very buggy. A lot of applications don't work anymore and of course you will experience some issues. So with this tool you can easily revert back to a stable iOS version if iOS 17 or iPadOS 17 doesn't work for you. You can easily upgrade and downgrade with this, you can install iOS 17 as well and of course this supports all devices that are supported by iOS 17 so no issues in there. The downgrade is actually quite easy to do, you just follow the steps on the application and it will downgrade your device in about 10 minutes if you don't like iOS 17 or if it's too buggy for you. So definitely check the program out in the link below, it's also a available on altphone.com. So many of you probably know iOS 17 preview is available, the beta 3 is now available, but of course it now introduces a lot more features. So there are a couple of features that were added in iOS 17, a little bit of a change to the uh, lock screen, a little bit of a change to the uh, music application and stuff like that, the calls application, whatever. Not an extraordinary iOS version, not a lot of changes compared to say iOS 16 or 15, but it does have some changes nonetheless. So if you're not interested in jailbreaking you probably have updated already to iOS 17 beta. So today we're going to talk about the iOS 17 beta 3 which is available. So right here I have a device running iOS 17 beta 2 and right now if you go here to settings to software update over here you should be able to find the beta 3 if you have the beta updates enabled. Now there is not a lot about this beta that you can do. It's basically containing some things like the podcasts application has a different splash screen when you open it. So does the home application but that's about it. And uh, yeah, in the iMessage you now have the option to have the photo icon contain actual thumbnails of your photos. That's basically the changes. They did not do a lot of changes in the beta 3. Probably they do have a couple of bug fixes and stuff like that, but not a lot important. To update you just press update now and that would be it. It will begin requesting the update and that's it. Now if you never installed the iOS 17 beta before but you want to get on board with it, all you have to do is to basically navigate to the Apple website to developer.apple.com com and then to sign in with your account. Now once you sign in with your account it's completely free. This, this year they changed that and it's now completely free. Once you sign in with your account you will be able to download the beta on your phone as long as you use the same account on the phone that you used on the computer. So on your computer just go ahead to developer.apple.com, sign in with your account, then accept the terms and conditions. You come back here on software updates and you should be able to basically enable the uh, beta over here. Instead of automatic updates you should be able to have the uh, iOS 17 developer beta option which will allow you to get the betas. So you go here to beta updates and you select iOS 17 developer beta then you reboot the phone and that's it as you can see it's now downloading. So yes basically a brand new update is out, not a lot has changed, just an icon here and there, a loading screen in another place and whatever, some credits in the music application that's basically all they changed but probably they do have some bug fixes which is important and I would definitely advise you to update the beta 3 if you are using using iOS 17 beta. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I am GS now. Till the next time, peace out.